to give her um, to give her a business card, and then uh, she put it right in in front of her. Okay, are we ready? Good morning, everybody. There you go, Chevelle. That's a better greeting. Good morning. I hope we're all alive on a Wednesday morning, October 11, after a late night with uh, fried ice cream on Jacob's birthday. Do you like the fried ice cream, Liam? No? Come on. You finished the whole... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us read the gospel for today then. Today's gospel comes from St. Luke chapter 11 verses 1 to 4. Jesus was praying in a certain place. And when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, Okay, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. And do not subject us to the final test. What is that prayer? Okay, very good. The Lord's Prayer. Right? Why was it called the Lord's Prayer? Because it was from the Lord Himself, right? It was the Lord Himself who taught His disciples to pray. Okay, it was the Lord Himself who taught His disciples to pray. Now, this, the Our Father, the Our Father is what we call what kind of prayer? The took okay. Jacob, the, vo the vocal prayer. Okay, uh, Do you know any other vocal prayers? The Hail Mary. The Hail Mary. What else? The, the Mass. The Mass is a vocal prayer. What else? The Angelus is a vocal prayer. Yeah? The Memorare is a vocal prayer. The what, Chavez? The prayer to the Holy Spirit. Yes, Mia. What is it, Chavez? What? <laughs> okay. So these are all vocal prayers, right? <clears throat> so we, angel of God, yes, that's true. Prayer to the guardian angels. See, our Lord, our Lord taught his disciples to pray, and somehow facilitated their their learning by actually teaching them a formula. Okay? Teaching them a formula, giving them the exact words that they could use in order to help them communicate with our Father God. So our Lord uh, uh, taught them uh, the vocal prayer, which is uh, the Our Father. And it is a formula that is easy to remember. Right? It's easy to remember uh, the formulation. So, And all you need to do is memorize it. Memorize it and you have it in your head. Right? And uh, it will be an easy way to, to uh, pray. Okay, so let's talk about the vocal prayers. Let's talk about vocal prayers. Just like any prayer, and this one, any prayer in general, but particularly the vocal prayers, uh, there are four purposes, according to the Catechism, four purposes of prayer. What are these four purposes? Can we enumerate them? Huh? Adoration. First is adoration. Okay, what are the four? Adoration. Contrition. Contrition, Mia. Thanksgiving and supplication. Thanksgiving and supplication. Very good. See, very good. So when you pray, when you pray, these are the four things that uh, normally, that normally come into your prayer or are part of your prayer, right? Part of it is adoration or praise. Right? And then there is reparation or contrition for sin. Right? You, you, ask, you ask pardon for the wrong things that you do. Okay? And number three, there is thanksgiving 
Okay, you give thanks for the good things and the graces that God has given you. And number four is, what's number four? Supplication or petition, right? Where we normally ask God for something, for some favor, uh, for some um, uh, intention that we want to pray for. Yes, Shabbat. We just finished the gospel. <laughs> we read the gospel already. <laughs> Shabel is saying, can we go to the gospel now? <laughs> this is what the gospel is all about today, Shabel. It's about the Our Father. It's about prayer. Okay. Okay. So, so when we pray, normally, normally in the vocal prayers, you would find uh, two, three, or all four of these purposes. Okay? So let us examine the Our Father. Let us see. Which parts of these? Where is where is the uh, adoration or the or the uh, praise part of it? From the very beginning of it, right? Our Father, Father, hallowed be Thy name. Eh? Hallowed be Thy name. So that is praising God for being holy. Okay, where is uh, where is reparation there? Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Eh? Very good, Jana. Very good. Where is uh, petition there? Where is petition in that prayer? In the Our Father? Give us this day, Give us this day our daily bread. See? Give us this day our daily bread. Very good. Where is Thanksgiving? Uh, <laughs> Where is Thanksgiving? In the Our Father. Uh, huh? <laughs> Everybody's reciting. Everybody's reciting the Our Father. Where is the Thanksgiving part? <laughs> well, actually, actually, the whole the whole prayer is a form of Thanksgiving. Eh? The whole prayer is a form of Thanksgiving. <clears throat> every time, every time that you pray, every time that you pray, eh? as long as that prayer is is uh, is done with humility. See? with humility and with sincerity okay um, that that by itself that very act in itself is recognition enough of uh, the the graces that God uh, gives us every day of our lives so that in itself praying in itself is an act of thanksgiving already see? so those are the uh, those are the uh, purposes of prayer okay oh father Willie Father Willie Ong is uh, joining us this morning. Hello, Father Willie. Hi, Father yeah. Willie. Okay. Now, let us see. How do we... Okay, what would be uh, best Catholic practice about vocal prayers? How do we pray the vocal prayers? How, what, what would be the best way to pray the vocal prayers? You know, the Catechism gives us a clue. Okay? Let us read the Catechism. It gives us a clue. Vocal prayer is an essential element of the Christian life. To his disciples, drawn by their master's silent prayer, Jesus teaches a vocal prayer, the Our Father. He not only prayed aloud, okay, take note, he not only prayed aloud the liturgical prayers of the synagogue, but as the gospel shows, he raised his voice to express his personal prayer from exalted blessing to the Father, to the agony of Gethsemane. So, there, there's one clue right there. How do we pray the vocal prayers? Vocally. <laughs> By vocalizing. <laughs> that is why they're called vocal, right? Wow. By raising our voice. Raising our voice to God in heaven. By the way, what's the definition of prayer according to the Catechism? Oh, no. Joe. Okay, the lifting up of our minds and hearts to God. That's what prayer is all about, right? Now, when we vocalize the prayer, when we do vocal prayer and we vocalize the prayer, then we are expressing externally the lifting up of our hearts and minds to God. Okay, so there's your first clue. Vocal prayer is vocalized, meaning you pray it audibly. You don't need to be shouting it out, but you pray it audibly. Okay? Audibly. It has to be heard. Okay. Now, 
uh, and this is the second reason, according to point two seven zero two in the Catechism. The need to involve the senses in interior prayer corresponds to a requirement of our human nature. Our human nature. Why? What is our human nature? We are made up of? Body and soul. Body and soul. We have a body. So when we pray vocal prayers and we vocalize our prayers, the body is in participating in praying, in lifting up our hearts and minds to God. The body is participating. So let us make it participate properly okay? by audibly uh, 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 um, vocalizing our uh, vocal prayer. Okay, now, um, okay, what else? What else? What's the second? Um, I have three uh, tips or four tips here about vocal prayer. So the second tip would be if we vocalize and we say our prayers audibly, we, we help ourselves become aware of who it is we are addressing our prayer to. Okay? We become aware. Okay? And we, 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 it's like putting to notice, putting on notice also the one we are praying to. Okay? When we say, Our Father who art in heaven, okay? hail Mary, full of grace. It's like calling the attention of our Father God, calling the attention of Our Lady. See, And, and, uh, and it's like telling her, Hey, Our Lady, listen to me. Hey, Father, please listen to me. Okay? I'm trying to pray. I'm trying to talk to you. Okay? So, let us see. Point 2704. Because it is external and so thoroughly human, Vocal prayer is the form of prayer most readily accessible to groups. Even interior prayer, however, cannot neglect vocal prayer. Prayer is internalized to the extent that we become aware of Him to whom we speak. Okay? So it helps you become aware of Him to whom we speak. Thus, vocal prayer becomes an initial form of contemplative prayer. Okay. Well, that's another point. So... To vocalize it means we. it helps us keep in mind who it is we are praying to, who it is we are addressing. And that brings us to the third tip of how to do vocal prayer. We have to be mindful not only of who it is we are addressing, but also of what it is we are saying, what it is we are praying. Okay? So that we do not pray like robots. We do not pray mechanically. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed will thou in Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, for our sins, down the upper that Amen. Like some people do. <laughs> the, the, right? We 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 we're, we're just commenting about how funny that some people pray the rosary like they answer each other like uh, you know like robots practically, right? Right? Like. Uh, the Hail Mary hasn't even ended yet. The other parties are already saying the Holy Mary, and then they, 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 they sound like a broken record, really, right? So that that is not the way. That is not the way to pray the vocal prayers, right? We have to try to pray the vocal prayers, being mindful of what we are saying. Being mindful of what we are saying, okay? because prayer is communicating with God, communicating with the saints, communicating with the angels. It is a form of communication. You're lifting up your hearts and minds to God. And you have a heart. You have a mind. You are not a robot. Right? So, even while you might be mechanically saying the words of the vocal prayers, it is always best to try to mean what you say keep in mind what you're saying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come even if you are saying it in a in a fast pace okay it is important to really pay attention to the words that you are saying otherwise you're not praying otherwise you're wasting your time otherwise you're making a mockery of that time that you said you said you were praying to god but you were not really praying. You might have been distracted with other things in your head and you're just 
mm, you know, uh, mimicking. You're just like a puppet being uh, commanded by the ventriloquist to be saying things that the puppet doesn't really know, right? Because it doesn't have a mind. But you are lifting up your heart and mind to God. So mean what you say, even if you use the vocal prayers. And last, lastly, okay, and here is the application, uh, particularly with the rosary. Some people complain, why do we keep repeating the Hail Marys in the rosary? Eh? Because you know what? They don't understand what ro the rosary is all about. For our This month is the month of the rosary. So we can pay closer attention to the way we pray the rosary. Right? Rosary comes from the word a rose in Latin or garland of roses as it means in Latin. See? So a garland of roses means many roses, a bouquet of roses, right? Sometimes you have a dozen of them in one bunch of a bouquet. So, and the, the idea there is you give these roses to somebody who you love, who you love, right? And the 12 roses the, in a bouquet is like trying to tell your loved one, I love you a dozen times. I love you, 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 right? You ask your mommy how much I love you, so I tell her every day. I doubt if she can even count. <laughs> Why? Because I tell her I love you many times a day. The same way that I tell you I love you several times a day, right? No, our lady, our lady, that's the least we can do to our lady to tell her I love you 50 times. <clears throat> At least 50 times in one day when we pray the rosary, right? So we can tell our lady I love you, I love you, I love you. And we use the Hail Marys to do that in the rosary. So the rosary is a garland of roses that we offer Our Lady. And it is our way of telling her we love you. By reminding her that she was the mother of God. By reminding her that she was most faithful to God. And by reminding her that we too are her children. That she should also take good care of us. Right? In the same way that we shower uh, our mummies with with uh, with plenty of i love you i love you i love you and plenty of kisses and plenty of this and that let us also shower our heavenly mother with the same garland of affection okay by praying her rosary very well okay? now let's review three tips to pray the vocal prayers what's the first one vocalize second Be mindful of who you're praying to. And number three. Okay. In other words, in other words, mean what you say. Okay? Mean what you say. Okay? Those are our three tips for today, ladies and gentlemen. And kids. Huh? I usually say folks. Okay, so that's it for us today, folks. <laughs> we have a script already. <laughs> okay, have a good day, everybody. We're off the mass today. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>